We're gonna see PT, yeah, PT and us. Here we go. Should be a pretty, pretty fun game. Let's see. Let's get into this. All right, both players here on Smash of the Mill platform, of course, as you know, is Greyford, Ness, Air, and Ness combo stars, which you're already seeing from PK Chris. Already getting a clean 60% on Quid, in counting as well. And there's not letting him get back on the stage. Using the yellow to try to attempt to ledge guard him, but PK Chris just is not, like, again, not letting him get back on the stage. And now we have a clean switch into the Ivysaur, possibly in order to just rack up a lot of damage on PK Chris as fast as he can. Because he isn't quite of a, a you know, behind at the moment. Let's see, both players just kind of just on the ledge. Ivysaur Nair going into... Oh, just missing that. Being pay, playing the patient game, however, Ness back air is going to be able to seal the deal and take Quid's first stock. Change into Charizard as fast as he can, maybe to you know rack up a lot of damage really quickly. Even though Charizard is just slightly. <gasps> no! Did he just bustle him into a bl No, that's. Alright. Alright, PK Chris doing some devious actions over here today. Uh, clearly fussling uh, the Quid down into the blast zone and Charizard just could not recover in time. Now Quid on his last stock, well, only a, maybe like a minute and a half into the match. And PA Chris still on uh, his all his three of his stocks at 120%. Um, Ivy, yep, I was gonna say an Ivy Dare would be right where he needs to get that uh, PK Chris's first stock gone. However, PK Chris still with two stocks on his in, under his belt. And Quid really needs to play catch up in order to really, you know, um, even out this matchup. Let's see, now we'll be able to return the favor and really edge guard uh, PK Chris just like how he has been doing to Quid on a PK Fire, maybe a combo starter, not quite. Just barely missing that, uh, that fair. Oh, okay. Huh? Oh my, there's no way. So PK Thunder basically just destroyed Ivysaur and knocked him out of, of uh, up air. Let me see that real fast. So yeah, PK Chris waiting to go use PK Thunder, knowing that Quid's gonna come off stage to try and end him. Trying to, oh no, he wasn't trying to do anything, it's just that PK Thunder just destroyed him. And those are the very like end stages of PK Thunder yeah. too. Instead of PK, uh, instead of PK Thunder going into Pokemon Trainer, Pokemon Trainer went into, into PK, PK Thunder. Thunder and wow. PK Thunder won. And so you kind of just kind of respect Ness off the ledge, honestly. That's why I, I never really like. I, I don't mess with Ness's off ledge because that PK Thunder is so scary. I just I, I don't know. It's, it's scary, bro. It's so big because like the tail also hits you. Now running over on town and city, maybe a little bit of a different uh, scene for our character. No, yeah, uh, for our characters, our players. I always found characters is kind of funny. Now hopefully we can see a little bit of difference here. Now this time Quiz getting these nice combo starters over on PK Chris, getting to a clean 50% and more, and just you know using Squirtle to use those uh, those combos that he's able to do so easily because he's so like you know life floating and fast than uh, Ivysaur and Charizard. And PK is struggling a little bit more to get his own combos in. Oh no. No, he can make it back if he uses PK Thunder. Don't. Uh, uh, once again, Ivy Dare really just gonna steal the deal. Take like PK Chris's first stock, a complete 180 from the first game we just saw. Now, is this time uh, PK Chris is the one who has to pick catch up and try to even this out as much as he can before uh, Quiz is able to get those nefarious combo stars over on Chris again. A little bit of a dance going on right now, trying to each, each person trying to find out how they can really enter the space of their opponent. Of course, Chris is able to do that really easily, starting with a PK fire into a I believe it was a na uh, nair into a fair, I believe. And back air is going to be the one's going to take Quid's first stock. Come back, Charizard! I love PK. I, I love uh, PK. <laughs> I love PT's voice. Oh yeah, definitely a massive, maybe the, even the stage is something that really helps out a lot of players because the stage does kind of, um, it does kind of evolve, like evolve or not evolve, but change out between 
an e like Omega stage, Battlefield, and like just a double platform stage, which has its own benefits according to each uh, set of platforms or no platforms that are available at the moment. So right now, it clearly is working very well for Quid, who's able to use those up those uh, higher platforms, kind of to bait out um, PK Chris's recovery options. Yeah, that rollback is going to be really devastating for Quid because now he's just got he's got sense of ledge and a PK Thunder right into the center stage, dicking off Quid's second stock. Maybe might be a, a, a reversal for for Quid. He might be the one who might lose this match if he does not get his game together. Getting that yo-yo is going to be absolutely devastating on the ledge. Try and use Flare Blitz, but they, thankfully yeah, he, he didn't because he would have been hit by th PK Thunder. Once again, that yo-yo, but just, uh, Charizard up, he's just not going to be able to... You know, he's gonna cancel that out and be like, hey, you're funny, watch this. Charizard's tail is just gonna help out. Finally, Charizard's tail comes in, comes in handy. Throw into bear, uh huh. Definitely has to be, you definitely have to be careful uh, being on the ledge with Quid at the, at the helm because he is really good at. You know, being able to two-frame you and get you out of your your recovery options, and if he changes the item right now, had he done there, yeah, that backer is gonna be really it. And now we're going to game three, but yeah, Quid is really, really good at timing his back airs, timing his ledge trapping, and keeping you off the stage that you you know you paid money for. <laughs> so, good job on Quid, making sure that he's able to really take out that second game and bring this all the way to game three. Now we are bending FD and Kalos. How unfortunate. Good stages. How dare you? And possibly, I'm gonna say they're gonna run it over to town and city again. Let's see what they're gonna choose. Yeah, over back on town and city with uh with chart with PT and this. This might prove to be a mistake on PK Chris's part if he's not careful with uh, cause now he can he knows. Okay, Town City is something that Quid is very, very uh, comfortable playing on, and he knows how to do some common stars on this stage. So let's see if there's any difference here. Maybe there's, you know, there's anyone's game, of course. Both amazing players, both in very seasoned players know what they're doing, and this stage, of course, is something that both of them can really rely on if they're able to use the platforms or lack thereof. Uh, well, damn that 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 mess baseball bat was was a uh, certainly a choice. And then we have PK Chris starting with a lot of combos with PK Fire, of course, at the helm. Getting a nice 50% on his opponent. And Quid trying to enter his own with Squirtle. Squirtle. Using that water gun. Might not be enough because he does still have his jump and PK Thunder. Oh! <gasps> nope, that's gonna be it. Ivy Sword Dare once again for the third game in a row, taking off uh, PK Chris's stock. Yeah, I feel like it's, it's simply it's because of the way that the, the slopes are in this uh, the slopes underneath the stage are. It's just able to connect that hitbox easier to Ness. Had they chose something like Kalos, I think that wouldn't have happened as often, just because you can't go underneath the stage because there is no stage to go underneath. Um, but right now, you know, Quid not Quid, uh, Pika Chris does have to kind of really be careful trying to recover from un from directly underneath the stage because Quid is so good at timing his dares and making sure that he's going to spike you underneath, like, literally underneath the stage from on top of the stage, you know? Ivy has a grown voice. <laughs> he's using that yo-yo. And back air is not quite gonna be it, but he can possibly, you know, uh, edge guard Ivysaur and make him... No, nope, no. Nope. Because that vine is gonna knock him right out of the yo-yo trap that we all know and love. But that backer is only gonna do it for him. Quid now at two stocks. PK Chris also at two stocks, but at 91% deficit. Let's see what he can do here. Surprised he actually didn't go Ivysaur to use uh, da his dare again. Oh, change Ivysaur now. Maybe now he might use it. No. Oh, he psyched him out. So. This game is just a mind game. Well, basically what happened is that now that PK Chris knows that going directly above or directly underneath the ledge of the stage is was going to result in Ivysaur's dare killing him, it psyched him out and now he kind of like skid away from the stage, making him go into free falling. So, very unfortunate way to end your stock, but you have to be very careful. 
he should be relying on these upper platforms on the edge of the stage, and as well as maybe even DIing into the stage rather than going directly underneath. Right now, PK Chris at almost 100%, and Quid is just not letting uh, PK Chris really start up a lot of his combos and get where he needs him to be. Uh oh. The patience from Quid is really nice to like, you know, just to acknowledge for a moment. He's very patient knowing, trying to figure out what, how Pika Chris is gonna cover. And thankfully, Pika Chris did take my advice. He did DI back to the stage instead of doing a, a um, PK Thunder. Good, great tech. But Ivy Nair is gonna really take, take, take the deal. No, Ness is a little bit, a little bit heavier than that. Well, no, from all the way, I mean, to be fair, he was at like 168. Uh, I can see that, and Charizard is a heavy character. Back air is a really good move for Charizard. But all the way from the other side of the stage. Boom, bam, bop. He's gone. And he was trying to edge guard. No, that's crazy. Uh, the fact that actually that Charizard Bear came out faster and the hitbox hit Ness before um, Ness's yo yo hit like his feet is actually kind of incredible. Like, Cor <gasps> Corby. Love you, Corby. So yeah, right now we do see PK Chris moving up in winners. Uh, Quid over going to has to fight his way through losers, if anything. So y'all better be.